What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Battlefield 4 on the Asus G75VX as always. Uh, and it is the 31st of October 2013 and that means two things. It's Halloween, so happy Halloween everybody. And it is also the release date for Battlefield 4, which as you can see is running really good on the Asus G75VX. So um, let's talk about the performance. So uh, this has been improved by a whole lot since the beta I made a video for the beta running on this on on this laptop so you can check it out I'm put a um, annotation on the top right corner of the screen so you can check it out if you want but the performance was was way worse than uh, than the one here in the full game and I kind of expected that because uh, Battlefield 3 did the same thing the, the uh, beta had had way worse performance than the full game what the fuck is this guy doing? Um, so yeah, let me just show you the settings real quick. Um, let's go to options, video. So uh, these are some custom settings and these are kind of between medium and high as you can see. Uh, some stuff is set to high, some to medium. And the ambient inclusion is set to off because um, that kills my frame rate by about some um, 10 to 15 frames which is it's a lot. Except for these settings, you can see I have vertical sync turned off because the, the screen tearing isn't too bad, so I can leave that off. And I also put the um, field of view, the FOV to 90, which was set to, I think, about 80 or 70, which was just kind of messed up. I mean, the field of view has to be around 90, always. Um, but yeah, so if you want to know the frame rate, right now, while recording the DX story, I am hitting... 40 to 45 frames, which is great while recording, especially 40 frames uh, while recording is always great. And um, you can see it's looking also really good, and everything is smooth, so I don't have any stuttering or anything just like that. And what the fuck, the guy just glitched out. Uh, so, and I also made a win slash fail compilation something. Um, for the Battlefield 4 beta, uh, so you can check it out if you want. I'll put a link down in the description, so uh, just click that if you want to check it out. Because I spent quite some time making that video, and I only have about 70 views or something like that, so it's messed up. But anyways, you can see Battlefield 4 is looking really great, and it's also running really great on the Asus G75DX. Medium to high settings, it's running well. And you know what's interesting? I mean, the vents aren't even doing. Uh, like it's some loud noise like the the, the way they do it in Sk when I'm playing Skyrim which is kind of weird because this game is supposed to be more demanding than Skyrim is oh man it's looking it's looking really good I mean I think even the graphics have been improved a, a bit uh, since since the beta I'm not sure looking great what the hell am I doing right now oh man this game is looking good and also I can tell you about about the um, campaign it's way better than than the one from from um, battlefield 3 which was just kind of like point of shooting and stuff but this one is way better as you can see and it also feels a little bit like the multiplayer I don't know why maybe you can maybe because you have like more choices and stuff like that I mean, you can you can choose your own path, and also you can see the faces, man. These are looking really great, uh, way more realistic than they did in Battlefield 3, of course. Uh, and also, since this is a new engine, this is kind of to be expected. But um, yeah. So yeah, and uh, even if I if I max this game out, the frame rate isn't going below 20 frames, so it's always about. Uh, 25 frames but that's that's not enough for playing I mean for, for a first person shooter I like playing at around 40 frames which is which is great for a FPS game um, okay, let's let's take the M32 MGL and let's take the sniper this is called elite there we go let's do some quick scoping real quick Oh man, just look, 
Look at these graphics. And I, I also uh, noticed this new cover system, which kind of reminds me from the one from Far Cry, which uh, you, you crouch behind something, and when you aim, you can get like over it, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so, let's try to take these guys out real quick. Good shot. Oops, fail. And this is also new in Battlefield 4 that you can uh, use this dual scope. Check it out. Like this. Let's try to take this guy with the knife. Whoops. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. So yeah guys this was Battlefield 4 on the Asus G35VX. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, you have a happy Halloween and I'll see you in my next video, peace out.